see that. That was completely unplayable. He's only about nine. <laughs> no, look, he has to learn to move his feet to a ball like that. Such a boy. I am an officer and a gentleman. Well, you're an officer. Where are you going? Hey, come back. Come here. Are you worried? Um, of course not. You'll be back. These last three weeks have been the best weeks of my life. Meeting you and... Me too. Um, nothing. But what were you going to say? Um, Jack? <clears throat> no, it can, it can wait. It can wait. Jack? Oh, whoa. Miles, the lady. That's what you're in for. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody minute, let's get our bearings. Christ! McGray, where are you going? Oh, Collins. Oh, Christ. Collins. Jack, Jack, he's dead, Jack. Come on! Collins! Come on! Ich hab sie verloren! Miles, I'd say. That's south. We're gonna have to cross the road. You're right, Jack. Jack. Hmm? We need to get you cleaned up. Get some food in you. Hmm?
30 miles north of where we started. This is Dillingen. You've done a nice big circle. They teach you that in Sandhurst? Come on. Dogs, do you, sir? Mm. Grew up with them. Trackers, gun dogs, fox hounds. Well, yeah, thought you might. You miss the dogs more than the people sometimes. <laughs> I was a baby. Simple. Simple? The dogs don't let you down. Unquestioning obedience. Just like the army. Hmm. Just like the army. Come on, let's move. We should wait till dark. I said move, Corporal. Three hours till it's dark. Now, if we take our time elapsed and our relative speed, it can't be more than two miles to the border. Oh, no, sir, you don't know your arse from your bloody elbow. Oh, shut up, McGrady. You know, you're lucky to be here. There are good men that could have had your place. Well, that's the thing about drawing lots, sir, at a great level there. We're all lucky to be here. Can't stop thinking about Collins. You've only got to put that behind you, Jack. Nice, stiffer bully old man. And all the things that you should have done and you could have done, and then one split second. Who's she? Lizzie Cat. Well, at least it's not a dog. Far from it. Nice. It's the only reason to get back. Even if it is for just one night. The one thing I should have done to ask Lizzie Carter to marry me.
Do you want to know why I joined the army? To fight the bloody hand like the rest of us? That was this or jail. You see, I don't give a toss for you or your army captain. Bunch of overgrown schoolboys playing ten soldiers. We get a switch on and that'll do me. Feet up the neutrals and let the rest of you just get on with it. He wants his girl. I just want my life. For God's sake, does nobody want to get back and fight the bloody war? That is bloody Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> So checking everybody. Well, we need to find a way round. What do you think? Up and over? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you listening? Aye. Cool. Go, go, go. I do it here. <laughs> Was ist? Ich habe da oben. Halt! Los hinterher! I'll distract them. They'll shoot you. Come on. Come on, you can still make it. Just do one thing for me. Find Lizzie, Lizzie Carter, the ARP, and you tell her. Just tell her.
Not without a doctor present. Bent over! And a priest. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Welcome to OFLAC 4C Colditz Castle. My name is Fritz Werner. I'm Chief Security Officer. This castle will be your home for the remainder of the war, however long that might take. It has been chosen especially for you and men like you. In Feinden Deutschlands and persistent escapers. I've no doubt you will try to escape again in the future, but you will not succeed. If you do try, you will be shot. You will eventually tire of your efforts. The sooner the better for both of us. Any questions? When I get back to England, would you like a postcard of Buckingham Palace or Trafalgar Square? <laughs> Relax, for you the war is over. Ignore him. He's Canadian. Benning, RAF. Willis, Scots Guards. Jack Rose, Queen's Royals. Rhett Barker, Royal Canadian Air Force. Guten Tag, guten Tag. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. Gentlemen, may I present our first successful escape of the war, Corporal Nicholas McGrade. Tomorrow, we need to think about getting you out of here. Are you? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. I've done my bit. I shall do me nicely, thank you. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Why? You can't possibly stay here. It's a neutral country or a British soldier. Hmm? Mum was talking business. I reckon the army owes me six months back pay. Any chance of a sub? Oh, very good. <laughs> Very good. I say, I wonder where they've got you with our second bottle. There's one of them for every one of us. Every train station within a 20-mile radius has armed guards morning and night. And the nearest border to here with a neutral country is over 400 miles. How long have you been here? A couple of weeks. Brett's been here longer. About a month. Where are you from? Biberac. You? Spangenberg. I got out with another pilot. Easy as pie, just walked through the gate. About 10 miles from the border, we uh, ran into a couple of Germans who obviously hadn't heard of the Geneva Convention. My buddy was killed on the spot. I survived. Just. Oh, God. That's not as bad as it looks. Bullets missed my major organs. Morphine took care of the rest. <laughs> That's Ullman, the bulldog. Bit of a bastard. The Poles hate him, treats them like dirt. First thing tomorrow morning, we try and get out of this place, Jack, my boy. That's the spirit.
All right. Hello. Can I buy you a drink? No, thank you. Why not? I'm meeting a friend. Did it? Yeah, come so far. Nicholas McGrade. Come on, don't be frightened. They're not going to bite. Valerie. Nice to meet you. Got a beautiful touch, Valerie. Right. What are you having? Have you ever noticed that this Fräulein not unbedingt the Gesellschaft eines bisschen für einen Idiot möchte? Sorry, didn't quite catch that. I said, maybe it hadn't occurred to you that the lady doesn't want a company of a drunken lout. What's this? A Swiss man looking for a fight. I must be dreaming. The Swiss don't fight. They just sit on the fence and mend clocks. Seems that chap you fell out with is the son of some local judge or whatnot. I imagine he'll want to throw the book at you. Oh, Christ, can't you do something? Well, they'll hand you over to us, but uh, on one condition that the British government inflict appropriate punishment. And with your previous record, I guess you'll be looking at ten years at least. Well, desperate old man, always ways round these things. I can't help thinking you're missing a bit of a trick here. Hi. War's a strange beast. Crushes some, makes others. I rather think you're made for it. Devious, obnoxious, boorish, with a tendency to criminality. Perfect officer material, in fact. When you get back to London, you will be contacted by MI9. Lieutenant Colonel Fordham, splendid chap. He'll fill you in. MI9? Oh, very hush, hush. You will be immensely helpful to them. You set all this up. Oh, I rather think you set it up yourself, old man. Cheer up. You're going home. from the last one only to end up here. It's not too bad, really. Grub's not up to much, but we muck along. Acorn coffee is not half as bad as it sounds. The other chaps are fine, and we're all pretty fit and well and keeping each other going. This place is an old castle, like something from Dracula. How are you? We don't get much news, just from the Germans. They say London is being pounded by the Luftwaffe. I hope you're well. 
I'm sorry I'm not much for this letter writing business. There are so many things that I want to say to you that I should have said. All I know is that I miss you terribly. I need specialist parts, not something from a bloody Meccano set. Bunny, bunny. Parts, man. And biscuits. Where are the bloody biscuits? Hmm? A call from McGrade, sir. Ah, oh, yes, yes, McGrade. Good, excellent. Thank you, Mary. Welcome to MI9, and congratulations. First home run of the war. Just the chat for us, Bunny. They fill you in about us. Who would have filled him in, you ask? We're supposed to be top bloody secret. Well, very early stages, but this is MI9. We're a division of the Secret Service. Is that all, then? Yes, Bunny. Uh, I thought you might like to meet McGrade as you'll be working together. Well, you were wrong. And don't forget those bloody parts. Mr. Warren. Unique man. Where was I? Yes. We're here precisely to help chaps like you, Allied servicemen who have escaped from POW camps. Good for morale. Keeps Jerry on his toes. All right. How was it? Slow. Well, of course. What about that safe house in Marseille? We just set that up recently. Oh, was that a week without food in the piano tuner's linen chest? Well, we can't just plonk you on an aeroplane and send you off to the wide blue yonder. I was quite happy what it was. Well, sadly, McGrady, there's a war on. And you've still got your part to play in it. Is that clear? Is that clear, Corporal McGrady? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. Good man. Oh, one more thing. From now on, you'll be Lieutenant McGrade. I think the first home run of the war deserves a promotion, don't you? Dismiss. Sir. Your office is just down here, together with the operations room and Mr. Warren's workshop. I preferred it up there. Is there anything you need? No, thanks. Do you have anywhere to stay? No, don't know anyone. It's my first time here in London. I'll fix up a room for you. And we need to get you a uniform. Right. I'll leave you to get on with it. Oh, actually, um, there is someone I know. Uh, a Lizzie Carter. I said to a friend I'd look her up. Uh, she's in the ARP. Hmm. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You're welcome, Lieutenant. Excuse me, sir. Back and off. Leave me alone. Corp, um, Lieutenant McGreed, sir. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. What the 
bloody hell are you playing at? It fell apart. Well, of course it fell apart. That's what it's meant to do. Legging comes off, boot becomes shoe, so the two leggings together becomes a waistcoat. Nice. No, it isn't. Apparently it's too drafty for flying. What, what do you want? I'm busy. Babber off. What? Christ, what is that smell? <laughs> Pectin. Natural gelatin. Add it to printer's ink and you can print a map straight onto a piece of silk. Silk. Soft. Light. Flimsy. Folds up. Easily concealed. My God, you're even more stupid than I thought you'd be. I could have done with something like this. With the blind leading the blind out there. That was a POW. First home run. Yes, I know. Why else do you think I'm being so reasonable? Would you like to see my compasses? Sure. Jack! That's all. <laughs> what? That's a sewer. Yes, I know. And that, my ball! The disuse the tree. Come on. Yeah, meet Jack. Jack, meet Yan. Hello. Hello. Yan trained as an engineer. Oh, well done. He reckons we can get through to the main sewer in there, which inevitably is going to take us somewhere outside the castle. What, through here? Yeah. Let's take a look. Then. You good? Good. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Yes, well done, you. Oh, 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 oh. One more thing. Come on. Every 50 yards or so, the sewers are connected to manhole covers or main drains. Now, assuming we take the right turning out of the latrines, we should end up out there. But where do we come out? Unfortunately, this is the only exit we can see. The trouble is, that's patrolled by an armed guard 24 hours a day. You're not going to be able to get out without him shooting you or raising the alarm first. Well, that leaves one option. Which is? Turn the guard. What? You buy him up. Well, can we? There are three guards that share that 24-hour rotation there. The first two, Meyer and Pirtle, they seem pretty straight. But the third, Meisner, he's kind of weak, shifty. I got a feeling about him. He's scruffy, his hands shake, his nails are bitten down. This is not a happy puppy. I would guess he's your man. But hey, it's only a guess. Play? I think you play. I think you lost your ring. I think your wife is very mad at you. Next, you lose your ear. She'll chew it off, right? How much to get the ring back? Go away. Let go. Penning? Yeah. Parker? Yeah. Fabry? Yeah. Butler? Yeah. Willis?
You're on. Hey, hey, hey. You're a tremendous human being. Yes, I am. That's it, Jack. You fit? Fit. Come on. You want to come with us? In there? Are you kidding? left.
Right, gentlemen. You're trying to escape. Yes. You are trying to escape. That's how it will look. Turn around. Turn around. Come on. What are you doing? You're barking. Oh, no, for Christ's sake! What are you doing? And leg Don't do this! Please! Oh, no! We've already oh, no, surrendered! No, no, no! No, no, no! no, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. Next time, we don't miss. I wish you a lot of Herr. Do you want me to trace? Aye. They were hit pretty hard last night. Right. Thanks, Mary. Fingers crossed. There's a port in there. Excuse me. Could I have a word? I'm sorry, Lieutenant, you'll have to wait your turn. If your house has been hit, waiting time for appointments is about 12 hours. And if you have missing family members, speak to the lady over there. Are you Lizzie Carter? Yes, why? Well, it might not be the time or the, or the place, but um, I have some information about Jack. Jack Rose. Jack. letter I had was about two months ago. I was beginning to think... No, he's fine. Bit of a sore ankle and a nasty headache, but other than that... Sorry, how did... We escaped together. He twisted his ankle, had a wee argument with a German rifle button. I got out. Sorry. Do you know where he is now? No, not yet. I've been trying to find out since I got back. I've been attached to a special unit set up to get POWs out. Well, if you do hear anything... Yeah, don't worry. I hate this. I really hate this. I know. But, look, if it's any consolation, I think you're doing an extraordinary job. Thank you. Uh, Lieutenant... McGrade. Nick McGrade. i better go. Aye, of course. How did she know what I look like? <laughs> Jack used to make everyone admire your picture all the time. Didn't do you justice, though. And I knew you were here in the ARP. 
Jack really want me to find you? Lizzie, there's a wall over there if you haven't noticed. Oops. Coming. Sorry. Uh, right, Nick. Nick, uh, where do I find you? I forget here. more news. We work here. Fine, pleasure meeting you. No, you can take any trouble. No, I'm not sure at all. things happen. Can't expect to trust a crowd. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> hey. Peace offering. Where do you get those? Red Cross parcels. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not the only change around here. Good God. <laughs> Escapers, every single one of them. Seems Jerry's decided to put all the bad boys in one place. Got everything you need here, boys. Tunnelers, tailors, lock pickers, engineers. Welcome to Escape Academy. Anyone get out yet? Yeah. yeah, a couple of French made it a week ago. Snap Escape. So bloody simple, almost seems like cheating. Who's that? Oh, that's our new celebrity edition. Sawyer, famous artist, no less. You never heard of him? No, me neither. Did a portrait of the king before the war, though, apparently. Sort of uh, sitting with dogs and part of a horse, I think. Anyway, come and meet LeBlanc. Not a bad chap for a frog. Then I'll introduce you to some of the other chaps. Absolutely fine. This one's yours. All right, chaps. Now, this reprobate is Johnny Pretty Boy Barnes. Good to meet you, sir. Well done. That's Mullen. Mostly harmless. God's sake, don't touch his books. No, I don't think I will. Goodbye. Mm. And Ronnie Hewitt. Four escapes so far. Two tunnels, one wire job, one officer impersonation. Came unstuck on the bloody lingo, didn't I? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I think that's something the Dutch may be able to help us with. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Jack Rose. The answer's no. You haven't had the question yet. You've heard I'm an artist and you want me to draw a loving, tender portrait of your sweetheart for which you are prepared to pay me ten woodbines and give me unfettered access to your acorn coffee rations. Go away. Possibly. On the other hand, I could have just been going to tell you that a special amnesty has been declared for all people called Sawyer and that there is a car outside waiting to take you home. A car which you have now missed. Nice try. How much would it take? More than you can imagine. How much? This is getting very boring now. This lighter is silver. It belonged to my grandfather. Hmm. You just don't get it, do you? How about this ring? It's all I've got. stuff. Well, Rhett Barker can get pretty much anything from the guards. I thought they might help. Never mind. 
Não, vai, 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 vai. Do you have any idea what this means? What would we be working from then, photograph? Well, uh, <clears throat> not exactly. That's it. Only a little smaller. Yes. Perfect. And her hair's more wavy. That soft, sweet smell. Can't draw a smell. No, of course not. I suppose what I'm getting at is all the fragrance. Mm. All right, here we go. Here comes the flop. Here we go. Five and seven, no help on the table. Was it worth it? Definitely. Two, raise your one. I'm all in. Let's burn one more. Here comes Easy Street. You're going to stare at that bloody wall for the rest of your life. Yeah, I have to. Come on, sir. Buck up. <laughs> I'm in. All right, here we go. Come on, Barnsley. Come on, Barnsley. Nice hot, boy. Let's go. Right. Great. Five and seven, no help on the table. What's her name? Lizzie. Don't get me wrong, but do you ever stare at Lizzie and mentally undress her? Steady on. No, seriously. I'm serious. And, you know, you look at a girl, and you think that if you look hard enough, you can see through all the clothes, all the layers, all the secrets. What each little shape actually means. Hmm? Well, yes. Well, that's how I feel about that wall. Oh, scramble, boys. What is this cracking up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll read them and weep, boys. In Alberta, that's a winning hand. Mm. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. Um, Jill, Lieutenant McGray's. Lieutenant McGray, Jill. Hello. 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 I wasn't sure you'd remember me. Of course I do. <laughs> I'll be off then. <laughs> Bye. So, have you heard from Jack? Uh, do you want to see if we can get a drink somewhere? I'm, I'm rather tired, but if you've heard something awful, please tell me. No, no, it's not awful at all. Um, in fact, we, we think we know where he is. Where? Uh, let me walk you down. Um, he's in a high security prison near Leipzig. Um, the Germans claim it's escape proof. If, if that's the case, then it looks like he's in it for the long haul. But is he safe? Aye, uh, as far as we know. Well, is he or isn't he? You keep saying we know this and we know that. Either he's all right or he isn't. Well, it's you know it's not always that simple. You know, I'm sure you'd appreciate that. Of course. It was very kind of you to come. Thank you so much. Hi, Lizzie! Hi. Come on, let me buy you that drink. Jack's alive. We should be celebrating. I really don't feel like celebrating anything at the moment. Well, the more reason you can't let yourself be dragged down by all this stuff. Were you at the bombings last night? It looked bad. It was awful. I saw some things. Just ordinary people in their own homes. Their lives smashed to smithereens. Sorry, don't want to be hearing this. Oh, don't let the bastards get you down. If you do, they've won. You might not actually be dead, but you might as well be. I'm sure I saw half a pub on the corner back there. I'm very tired. Thank you for coming, Lieutenant. All right, Nick. Nick, please, Nick. Nick. Please. Nick. Hi.
on in. From Lizzie. The Grey got back. He told her where we are. She knows we're safe. What did that bloody corporal make it? Not Corporal anymore. Lieutenant McGrade, she calls him. Well, good luck to him. At least he got out when we had. We'll do it. We must. We've done it. What? I've undressed her. Hewitt, can you give me that scope the Venice has been twittering with? Come on, Jack, I want to show you something. Come on. That window on the third floor never lights up at night, right? So the room must be unused. Hmm? Look at the reflection. See it? Not really. Well, help is at hand. I'm not going to light, have you? Mm, my guess is that reflection means there's another window in that room. A room that looks out onto the roof of the guardhouse. We get onto that roof, Jack, and we're away. But how do we get into that room? Attics and chimneys, dear boy. It's a bloody mirror. Warum müssen wir wir diese Dinger rumschleppen? Ja, da sagst du was. Hier, ja. Ja, so passt.
Well, it looks like we have no alternative. We go out as guards. There's one thing about these Germans you keep missing. What's that? They wear German uniforms. So? We make some. It's supposed to be the bloody escape academy. There's got to be someone around here who can knock up a bit of jerry kit. Once naturally, couldn't hear a Deutsch. Bloody lingo. One of the Dutch chaps will have to go with you. They've all got the language. Yes, make him the lieutenant. He can do all the talking. Tony de Jong's your man. Hang on, I'll find him. You old boy. That's better, but keep your back straight. Except we don't march, we walk out of this place. <laughs> like me. I can do. Bloody hell. How did you do in the stand? Turnip dipped in ink. There you are. Mm. No, no, keep it. You sure? Mm -hmm. There's room for you, you know. Not much of a team player, I'm afraid. But thank you. Who's that? Sorry? There. Now, oh, that's Willie, the electrician. He's here to fix the lights. Panel! Hewitt! Uh. Matthews! Uh. Barnes! Yeah. Riddell! Yeah. Kokara! Uh. Richards! Yeah. Barker! Yeah. Fayette! Yeah. Leblanc! Yeah. Sawyer! Yeah. You're late. You got everything? Price has come up. This is all the money I have. Something will have to go. Buckles. Gun holster. Getting hooked? Who's talking?
Hey, hey, how's it going, eh? <laughs> you having a good night? Claudia, what is it? Oh, that's Andy, it's a blackout. Oh, Salutieren Sie nicht einem höherrangigen Offizier? Der Anzeige keine Meldung. Ich weiß nicht, Herr Leutnant. Meine Herren! Ah! Ich bin das. Keep going. Nice and easy. Zurück in Einschlaft. Und Sie kümmern sich um den Mann dort.
Christ, the place is heaving with the bastards. Well, I know this all looks a bit unconventional, but that's what it's meant to be. We all know there are no shortage of ideas about escape aids. The problem is concealment. That's where these chaps come in. Gentlemen. Right. Cricket bat. Pull the end, knife comes out. Put it back in. Handle comes away. Inside there's a file. No, there isn't. Oh, oh God, yes, should be a file. I of course, I used it for them. Never mind, I blame the assistant. Uh, toothpaste. Remove the cap. Squeeze it. Normal toothpaste. After a little while, it turns grey. Same colour as the German uniform. Yes. Can of beans. Just open it up and... Oh. Stretcher bearers. <laughs> False end, inside, piece of silk, thin, flimsy, perfect for concealment. A pattern on the silk, very pretty. No, not just a nice handkerchief, actually a detailed route through Bavaria to the Swiss border. This man's a genius. Yeah. You are a prick. Steady on, old man. Made your point. Not quite. The other end, see there? Beans, just like it says on the tin. That's a bit much. Do you have to walnut? The most basic and most necessary aid there is for escaping. A walnut? Not a walnut. A compass. Now that he is good. Very good. There. And finally, but not least, from the bowels of the British Museum itself, a ground plan of Coldick's bloody castle. Now, look at this stuff. It's brilliant. Just half of this gets through with a POW swarming across the whole of bloody Europe. Bravo. Good show. Good work. Good work. Well done. A bloody good show all round. Yeah, really. Operations room could do with the shake-up. Perhaps you should pay them a visit. Yes, sir. Ah, bunny, more shoelaces. Bloody shoelaces. You thread a thin line of metal into a shoelace. What have you got? Bloody sore fingers. Bloody sore. Bloody sore. That's right. You know, you're not half as stupid as people think for you. Will you excuse me, sir? Sir. your way, pal. Oh, this is a surprise. Come on, soldier. It's your lucky night. Excuse me. Do you mind? No, the seat seems to have fallen empty. You know, I might actually have been enjoying talking to that gentleman over there. No, I, but you weren't. You were thinking what an empty-headed little prick he was. You were just far too polite to say so. And like you. Just doing my duty. I didn't think you approved of all this. I'm taking your advice. You should be pleased. <laughs> oh, I am, believe me. I, uh, <clears throat> I heard from Jack last week. Oh? A letter arrived, but most of it was blacked out by the sensor. Maybe he's all right? Seems so. He's putting on a brave face, but... That's Jack. You don't seem too pleased. No, I'm pleased. It's just, um... Difficult? Yes. I feel like I'm living a lifetime every day at the moment, and I've got so much rattling around inside my head. Sometimes I can't even... Never mind. Sometimes you can't even remember what he looks like. It's not unusual. It's grieving, it's what happens. There's nothing to be ashamed about. 
But I feel so guilty. There's nothing to feel guilty about. This is war. You've got to live. And if I'm not actually dead, I might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a smack? <laughs> you pay for that. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? You're going to dance with me. Might have to think about that. You're gonna dance with me if I have to drag you up out of that bloody seat and carry you to the floor. Now come on. <laughs> gentle from a distance. It's getting closer. We should get to the shelter. Oh, it's pure beautiful. How can you say that? People are dying over there. Ah, people have to die in a revolution. Do you want them to win or something? No one want us to win. People! Hey, Ordinary people! I was nothing when all this started. Now I mean something. We're right on the edge, Lizzie. We should get to the shelter. No, stay here. <laughs> Are you all right? Ask him to confirm his serial number. What's all you say? Someone's got out of cold. It's made it to Warsaw. Who? Hey? Don't know. Fordham's onto it. Five eight three one four. Regiment rank name.
King's Shropshire Light Infantry. Captain Edward Sawyer. Confirm with the Geneva POW office that such a prisoner actually exists. He does. Contact his regiment. Find out as much as you can about him. Who runs our safe houses in Warsaw? Uh, Mrs. M. Better tell her to expect a guest. What line are you going to bring him back on, sir? Well, there's an American agent in Danzig I've been wanting to use. Uh, if uh, we can get our man up to the Baltic Sea, put him on a boat to Sweden, we can get him back from there. What do you think? Thank you. Sounds good. Well, buck up, man. This is the best news we've had for weeks. for a change. I think this is yours. I was wondering why it's that was. It's a bit dirty, I'm afraid. It's just an old thing. Lizzie. Lizzie, look at me. I'm actually rather busy. No, you're not. Lizzie. Last night was madness. You could have got us killed. It was wonderful. It was a mistake. We made a mistake. There was no mistake. You know that. I've made a promise. I love Jack. Yeah. You can't put your life on hold forever. Jack may never come back. That is a horrible thing to say. He will come back. Please don't touch me. I, I, th I think you should go. Come on. I want you to go. I don't want you to come here again. Lizzie, please. Lieutenant McGrade, I want you to leave. Oh, Lizzie, don't do this. Get out! Can you do me a favour? Mm -hmm. A prisoner in cold outs. I need to find out his regiment. Of course. What's his name? Rose. Lieutenant Jack Rose. Right. Thanks. Get up! Your month is over! Letters received from Lieutenant Jack Rose of Flag 4C cold it's redirected to me and my office. You don't need to know. Yes, sir.
She's a pretty girl, Jack. You know what happens when the cat's away. Suck your mouth, will you? No, 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 no. Read that. I really don't think I should. Read it. You just have to wait your turn. I can't! Go on, Jack! Go on! Go on, Jack! Back in fucking go! That was my escape! Will you marry me? 